In this simulation, we have a burette over a stir plate, a digital thermometer, a 100 ml beaker Erlenmeyer flask and volumetric flask, a pipette, a hot plate, and various samples to work with. To begin, click the oxalic acid and use your up arrow to draw up 25 milliliters into the pipette. Then, click on the pipette to add the acid to the volumetric flask. Add another 25 milliliters of the oxalic acid solution to the volumetric flask. And then click the deionized water bottle to fill the rest of the flask. Then you can shake the flask by clicking on it. Now click the pipette again to draw up 25 milliliters of the mixture. And click on the pipette again to add the mixture to the Erlenmeyer. Next, click on the H2SO4 bottle and add 60 milliliters to the 100 milliliter beaker. Use your up arrow to add the appropriate amount of sulfuric acid to the beaker. Then click on the beaker to add the H2SO4 to the Erlenmeyer. Now you can click on the Erlenmeyer to move it to the hot plate on the right hand side. Click on the Erlenmeyer to add the thermometer to it and turn it on by clicking the button at the top. Turn on the hot plate to start the heating process. Now watch the thermometer until the solution arrives at 60 degrees. Be careful not to overheat your solution or the titration will not work properly. Once your solution is heated properly, you can click on the Erlenmeyer to move it to the stir plate under the burette. Click on the potassium permanganate to fill the burette. Be sure to note the starting volume in the pipette by clicking on it to zoom in. Now you can use the down arrow to add potassium permanganate dropwise from the burette. Start by adding just three drops. The solution will turn purple, but should go clear again after a few seconds. If it doesn't, that's an indication you've heated the solution too much and you'll need to try a new solution. Continue dripping potassium permanganate until the titration is complete. You'll know when it's complete when it changes color and stays a light pink color. Then you can click on the burette to zoom in and view the scale to measure your endpoint. When finished, you can click on the Erlenmeyer and click Try New Solution to repeat.